Hi everybody, so today's look is a whole lot of fun. Are we crooked? Yes. So today's look is a whole lot of fun and it's very easy to do. I love it because I've compiled it using about only three eyeshadows. You pretty much only really need one though. And um, I just did the extra little bits just in case you wanna do those and fully complete the look. The face is really what it's all about in this look. This summer we are all about highlighters and bronzers, especially bronzers. Too Faced came out with a bronzer wardrobe and it's basically a face chart of how to use bronzers all over the face and basically how to make the face alone outside of the eyes look exquisite. We've taken the face to a whole new level in the last couple of years. It's not all about the eyes and less is more on the face. Nowadays, it's really all about a simple eye and an exquisite face. Love that or hate that, it's hard to say. You really can't go wrong with a well-placed bronzer. However, if you had to pick one product, let's be honest, it takes a lot of skill to learn how to do a good contour, but it also takes a lot of skill to learn how to blend out eyeshadows very well. And I think for the majority of people, it's a little bit easier to figure out or play around with highlighting and bronzing and playing with blushes. So pretty much the trend is kind of just right on the money what we can do practically. Let's see what happens next year. Next year will probably be all about creating lip injected lips if it isn't, if or if it hasn't been that way already. Pretty much has been. But, um, We've taught people how to sculpt, we've taught people how to use bronzers, some people sculpt with bronzers, and it's not always about that product-wise. So I think we're really kind of coming into our own when it comes to the face now that we've recognized what looks good on an ALF camera. Aside from that, I will be using the Sue Best brushes, and I'll be doing a little mini kind of first impressions with these brushes before I do a review. I just want to see how these perform. All right, so let's get started on the look. Okay, so to get started on today's fun tutorial, it's really going to be all about creating a really fun summer bronzy look while being a little bit dressed up. The set retails for $17.99 and it is a beautiful synthetic 10-piece brush set. So I'm going to put these brushes to the test today so you can see them in action before I film my review and my thoughts on these particular brushes. Okay, so to get started on this look, I'm going to be taking the So Best, this is kind of like a little blending brush, and I'll put descriptions of all the brushes um, from that website in the bottom bar as well because they don't have names and numbers on them. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. This is a gorgeous um, slim milk chocolate case <laughs> with dark chocolate colors inside. I'm going to start off by taking coconut cream with the blending brush, and I already have my eye cream and my... Um, Anastasia Pro Base number one underneath the brow and all over the eyelid. Now for the eyelid, we're going to be taking caramel, which is this gorgeous gold shade. I don't think I've taken this shade in a while. And I'm just going to put this on the eyelid and smooth it out. I'm going to take it up a little further than I normally do through the crease. And then just start kind of playing with it and dusting it out. Now for the definition, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of mousse. You honestly don't need a lot of this one. But we're just going to go into the outer corner and create a slight hue of it. We already have the shimmer through the crease, so we're really not going to get a lot of definition with this look. This is going to be a little bit of a MAC unfriendly look. Lack of contouring. So simple a baby could do it. Just joking. I'm going to be taking the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Eyeliner in Sybil, which is just a nice warm deep brown color. Now this winged liner is really not fussy at all, it just requires a little bit of work. So we're going to be taking the Becca Ultimate Cream Gel Liner in the shade Romanesque, which is basically a matte black, and my MUA Professional Point Liner Brush. This is the 313. They're a little pricey um, at Target, or no, not Target, they're a little pricey at Walmart and CVS. The Physicians Formula Nude Wear Foundation. This is a really nice foundation actually for your money. It's only $14 and to me it performs very close if not just as close if not identical to high-end foundations. It doesn't have as much skincare as some high-end foundations but I always do my skincare anyways so 
it's not a big deal to me. I'm just going to be placing this on with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge, just because it gives it that little extra finesse. Now that we've completed the foundation and concealer, I, whoa, I took the wrong color. I do have to touch up a little bit with my eyeliner. You might have to do the same if your eyes water. Continue taking my fluffy brush, but just for the sake of continuing on with a different brush, I'm gonna be taking this pointed brush. You could use this for face or under eye. So we're gonna be selecting under eye today, obviously. There's other detail brushes in that package, so we could play with those on the rest of the face. Okay, so for the inner corner of the eye, we're gonna be taking Butter Pecan. I just have a weird trouble pronouncing that, because I, I, when I lived in California, the Northern Californians used to say uh, pecan a certain way, and then everyone else said pecans. For the outer corner of the eye, we're gonna go in with, um, this is Cocoa Chili. There's like a, some sort of a chili color in each of these chocolate bars. There's like Ancho Chili in the first one, Cocoa Chili in this one. All right, so for mascara, we're gonna be taking the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just kind of dressing up the eyes. So for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Ardell Ombre Lashes in red. I'm going to put these on. I don't really make it a point to show my pressed setting powder pretty much in, every, in any video or I won't be showing the foundation or routine probably in every video just because it is repetitious. But I know if I skip it, a lot of people will ask about my skin type or ask if I have dry skin or it just gets confusing so I usually will just let you know what I'm putting on my face just so you kind of like know the process not that it really matters what my skin type is because yours is going to be different from mine so for sculpting the face I've already taken the hourglass ambient lining powder in the shade diffuse light this is a really nice light powdery shade that creates that sort of perfect HD glow I'm just taking this little angle brush for the whole face and we're just going to go into beige pearl so far so good on all the brushes I really like them so far so I'm going to be taking fun And this is just a very forgiving contour color. And then for my blush and bronzer, I'm going to be taking this. This is Ross and Rachel, TV show a lot of us grew up with. And we're just going to, and then for the bronzer. Really gonna try to make it look natural, so I chose this really silky soft bronzer. And the fun thing about compiling bronzers is you could definitely use more than one to create a really fun look. I think there's some face charts in the Too Faced's uh, bronzer wardrobe. This is kind of their idea to like deepen up the face using multiple bronzers and I was like, oh good! I could feel less guilty about sculpting than bronzing and going in for the kill. And it was basically about dressing up the face the way you kind of with the eyes. Now when you're doing your lips and you want to make it look like a very big full pout, you can definitely just go ahead and take whatever pencil you have, line it with enough intensity for it to really show through. In this particular lip liner look, I've overlayered Inglot 67 and 68 to create this nude bronzy effect. So for the lipstick, we're going to be taking Wet n Wild's Will You Be With Me. Now I'm going to be taking Inglot 35 Sleek's Shine lip gloss. Sorry, what is the name of this lip gloss? Oh yeah, it's Inglot Sleeks lip gloss. They have a shine formula. The This one has sparkle and it has a little bit of a warmth coral to it so it will tone down the beautiful pink a little bit so it looks a little bit more warm and natural and glowy. And I hope you give it a try. It's easy except for the lashes. Um, but you can always pick a more easy pair to play around with. Invisible lashes and Babies, beauties, and um, demi lashes, number 305s or 301s, or any kind of half lash are very easy to work with. Or you can just buy a full pair of lashes and cut them in half and glue them on that way. All right, so I hope you enjoy this look and thank you for watching.